Hey, there's a fair warning to you. I might speak the name of Amazon Echo or Google devices out loud, so to make sure they are silent. Now, you have a couple of seconds while I play this intro. Hey guys, in my previous video, I talked about this. This isn't Son of Mini. This isn't even a Son of Mini Zigbee, which I've talked about in this video. This is just an empty box. The original Son of Mini Zigbee is already connected to this light bulb. And to prove it, I have two things. First of all, I have a Son of Zigbee bridge, which I use to test the Zigbee devices. And as you can see, it's not connected. So check this out. Alexa, turn Son of Mini on. There you have it. And I also have my Google Home ready for you. Let me just find the device, it's there. And I can also turn it off using the widget provided. So it works with Alexa and it works with Google Home. And it also works with Nodred and Home Assistant. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that using your favorite debugger, which my favorite is CC2531 and how to actually add the device because it will list when you power it as an unsupported device. Now, I have a, in the description of this video, I have a full write-up about it. So I would strongly recommend you to click through after watching this video so you would know what you're doing and you'll get also a template to use uh, that you can add to your Zigbee devices. So the plan is to pair it, make it supported and then dive into the node threads to introduce smart functions like adding smart assistant, inching and a couple of other cool features. Well, let's get started. To pair the Son of Zigbee, first open the configuration YAML and set permit join to true. Save it and restart the Zigbee to MQTT. After that, you can just press the button for five seconds and you should be able to pair it. Unfortunately, right now Son of Zigbee Mini doesn't work out of the box. I'm sure that's gonna get fixed in no time. However, we have to configure the library for that particle device in order to I use it. I already have an article explaining everything in details how to support new devices and how to find the drivers or create your own drivers. So in this video I'm just going to use pre-existing code and show you where to paste it so you can get started. If you want to know more information just uh, search the description of this video or click through the link visible on the screen. While in theory you can modify the device's uh, file from the terminal itself, it's so much easier to use, for example, Notepad++ and do it in there. So for this, I'm just going to use Notepad++. There is a NPP FTP plugin that can be used to access the files stored on Raspberry Pi. Connect and navigate to correct directory, which is opt zigb 2 mqtt node modules, and then converters and you'll find your devices.js file. To make viewing easy, fold the entire code and then use search to find lines about existing Sono drivers. Use the snippet supplied by me on my website and save the file. Restart zigbee2mqtt and access configuration YAML to enter a friendly name and then restart it again. You'll be ready to start using your Son of Zigbee Mini in Node-RED. Right, we're ready to play in Node-RED. So first we're going to set up MQTT and basic communication. As you probably know, default uh, topic is Zigbee to MQTT and then followed by the name of my device, in this case, Son of Zigbee Mini. Now parse that as a JSON object and you'll be ready to receive the commands from the device itself. And you can always look up the commands in here. That's how they look like when you turn uh, off and on your device. Now you can control that, or you can get the state by injecting an empty payload like this uh, to the topic ending with get. So when I do that, it will notify me what is the current state. And as you can see, it's off. Now it's easy to actually transform this into controlling as long as you remember to submit your payload as a JSON. Now this is for on and the JSON for off is like this. And you have to change the topic where you're supplying it uh, using uh, pre or postfix or whatever they call it after it uh, as a slash set. 
one supply, I can just toggle the lights. So let's turn them on. So you can see the light is on and we have a message in here coming from this node in here. Now the same goes for the dashboard. So I already included the button in here. So if I go to my uh, inching switch, I can control this from here. So I can turn off the sound of on and off and you can see those messages being available in here. So that's your basic controls. Now, obviously, we want to look into a couple of smart functions and maybe inching. So let's start with Alexa integration. I've used Alexa Home Skill to drive this. So you have to log in and add a new device. In this case, I named it Son of Mini. And then change the payload because the payload coming from Alexa is either true or false. And use a ch uh, change node to change it to a corresponding JSON and submit that to uh, MQTT out node with correct topic. That's it. And you're going to have your integration with Amazon Echo working. For Google Home, I'm using Nora and I'm going to link more information about all those services on my in my article. So for this, it's very easy because Nora actually lets you configure your on and off payload. So I can submit the correct statuses on and off using JSON messages. And again, I'm sending it to the same MQTT out. Now, if you are interested in inching, I already have a separate article about inching. And this is the bit that you have to paste. And because this bit uh, submits payload as true or false, all you have to do is again, use the change node to translate it into known JSON, which is state on off, etc., and submit it to this MQTT out node. Just a note, apart from submitting on and off, you can also use a toggle to switch uh, the state to opposite. So if your uh, switch state is on, if you send toggle instead of off, uh, it will uh, do the same and will turn off your switch. That wasn't that hard, wasn't it? And thanks to its size and the fact that it uses Zigbee, it's one of my favorite son of devices right now. So the best thing about this integration is that you can use different ecosystems. So not only this can interact with other Sonoff sensors, something I've talked about in this video, but you can also use third party ecosystems like Tuya, uh, Xiaomi, Agara or Ikea. It's down to you and you shouldn't have any problems integrating everything with a uh, CC2531. All right, I would strongly recommend you to do two things. First of all, just follow the description of this video, find the link and you'll find everything explained to you step by step. I uh, strongly appreciate you would check that before you ask any questions. Now, second of all, stick around and save this space because I have another two son of products that uh, we've not talked about. Those are new and that's going to be on the channel as well soon. So it's best to follow me on any given social media listed below. Uh, so you could get a notification whenever the article is out. You obviously know how YouTube works. I'm not going to teach you that. As for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know what you think about Son of Mini Zigbee Edition and whether you are willing to switch into a Zigbee ecosystem. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.